Not everything used on the battlefield was intended to kill the enemy. The topic I am going to cover this video might not really be classified as a weapon. Rather, it was a tool that could be used in battle. Like the Tsuruhashi pickaxe I covered about a year ago, this is going to be very short. I will be talking about the Otsuchi, or large hammer. Because this video is so short, I will be uploading another short video later in the month for this collaboration series. Please go and check out the channels of other contributors, Samurai Ninja History, The Shogunate, and Samurai Traditions of the Tadaginchi. Their channels, as well as any videos for this month, will be linked in the description. There really is not a lot for me to say about the Otsuchi, and my purpose here is just to show that battles were not all just guns, bows, swords, and spears. The Otsuchi is basically a large version of the basic hammer that was commonly used at the time. It was a wood hammerhead, or more accurately a mallet head, on a wooden shaft. Small, normal, and large size versions of this tool could be used for a variety of tasks. Although this ukiyo-e print by Utagawa Kunisada, or Utagawa Toyokuni III, I am using as a background visual here, is probably the most famous artistic representation of an otsuchi, it does not mean that this was the only way that they could look. The Otsuchi could be used for a number of constructive and what could be called destructive jobs. They could be used in the creation of fortifications or defenses when large logs or pieces of wood were needed to be secured into the ground. Destructively, or perhaps offensively you could say, they were used against buildings. They were not primarily meant to be used against any soldiers, but in the heat of battle, I cannot say that no one ever hit an enemy with one. Rather, their main task was to attack doors and walls, either knocking them down or punching holes through them. This they would typically be used during either sieges or attacks on residences, the latter being the source of this print on screen from the famous story of the 47 Ronin of Akko, where they assaulted the mansion of an enemy, and according to the story at least, some used Otsuchi to breach the doors and break through walls. There was a common civil use for these large tools in the Edo period as well. In cities, one of the biggest fears was fire, particularly very populated cities such as Edo, where people lived practically right next to each other, and thus fires could spread very quickly and be devastating. Firefighters, or hikeshi, would use the otsuchi to break up and bring down buildings to create fire breaks. And so that is about all I have to say about otsuchi at this point. I did say it was going to be fairly quick and short. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please consider liking and subscribing and sharing. A special thank you to my Patreon member, Coulter Nebel. I hope you will join me again for the next video, and please have a great day or night wherever you are. Otsukare sama deshita.